Hi, welcome back. I hope that you're doing well. I'm trying to set up my camera here in the sun porch. Um, it's rather nice out. It's probably about 70 degrees out. Um, partly cloudy, but it still has some sun out there. Um, it's in the evening, about 441, so the sun will go down in a little while. It's kind of making its way. So before it does, I thought that I would pop on here and do a video. Um, actually, it's a tag video. I have seen this going around YouTube, and it's the makeup tag for mature woman. And I am not sure. Oh, I think Donna from Mature Life started this one. Um, I have not been tagged, but uh, someone told me to go ahead and do it and consider themselves tagged. And I can't remember who it was because I've watched a few of these. So uh, she made this tag up, and if I've got the information correct, and it's a number of questions, 10 and uh, 10 questions and let's get started okay um, first question is how old were you when you started wearing makeup I was a freshman in high school when I started wearing makeup on a daily basis now when I was around seventh grade a family member of mine had um, gotten married I was a junior bridesmaid and my mom did my makeup for that day now she didn't do a lot she just put a little mascara a little bit of blush and a little bit of lipstick um, and even then I was really excited that I got to wear that much you know now I went to a girls Catholic high school and you would think that they would be very funny about wearing or very strict I should say about wearing makeup but there were quite a few girls that really piled it on but that was the 80s and especially eyeshadows um, but I'll get to that question in a little bit. Um, so I was a freshman in high school, but to tell you the truth, back then all I used was mascara, um, I think a little powder, and lip gloss. Once in a while when I would go out with my friends, I would put a black eyeliner on and maybe wear a lipstick, but nothing that was too bold. like. I would never have worn something like this back when I was in high school. Um, maybe for a very special occasion, but um, I could go on a tangent with that, so I'll stop there. So freshman in high school. Um, let's see. Number two, do you recall the first makeup product that you picked out for yourself and was purchased or that was purchased for you? Absolutely. Um, it was the Bonnie Bell Lip Smackers and um, back then they came in a really big tube and I remember getting um, the Dr. Pepper and I also got um, like an apple, like a sour apple. I can't remember the exact name. Someone else that I watched here had the same answer, and yes, that was the first makeup product that I actually purchased for myself. Uh, and it was probably purchased like at a drugstore or something. Let's see. Uh, number three, eyeliner pencil or lip liner pencil and why? Okay, um, eyeliner pencil. I do like to use eyeliner to put more focus on my eyes. I always kind of do more work on my eyes than any other part of my face. Uh, I don't really use lip liner. I have maybe about four of them. Uh, and I will do once in a while, like if I wear a very uh, nice red, I will use a lip liner. I have the Cherry uh, Lip Liner by MAC. And then I have a couple that are from um, Milani and then a couple that are from uh, Rimmel. But I really don't use them that much. Um, I don't have any bleeding and, and I don't really have really any wrinkles around my mouth yet so I don't really see the need for it but eyeliner definitely uh, number four do you ever go out in public without makeup why or why not um yeah if I'm just gonna go like run to the drugstore pick up some medicine or something um, yes uh, sometimes certain doctors that I see they want to see my face without makeup so I might put on like a little bit of eye makeup and a lighter lipstick or a gloss. To me that's sort of like no makeup. Um, yeah, so yes, but never for, you know, 
a special occasion or for um, you know going out to dinner or something I always put on makeup for that okay number five if you could have only one shade of lipstick what would it be and why oh boy that's a hard one I really don't don't know um, maybe something like what I'm wearing which is like a, a like a very dark plum and that's the Kat Von D wolf's mouth this would probably be it because I can also use this it's right there I can also use this as um, a blush and I could probably put a little bit on my eyelids and use it as a eyeshadow so something like um, a dark plum or a light plum and that's year-round I really plum is my my favorite um, let's see here we go makeup number six makeup or skincare and why do you think your answer would have been different in your 20s um, in my 20s I would have definitely put or said makeup um, not that I wore a lot but I cared more about makeup than I did skincare and yes in my 20s I did go to sleep a lot with my makeup on which is a big no-no um, if you ask me now I would have to say a little bit of both to be honest I can't just pick one well actually if I had to pick one it would be skincare because if I you take care of your face very well and you have a nice clean complexion and um, you look awake and your skin is like kind of naturally glowing you really don't need much makeup even though on those days when my skin is looking good I do put makeup on but if I had to choose right now at the age of 51 it would be skincare at the age of 20 21 22 whatever uh, it would have been makeup for sure and that was a common um, answer among this uh, tag and uh, number seven, what makeup trend did you do when you were younger that you absolutely would not do now and why? Um, back when I first started wearing makeup and even a little bit in the early 90s, I used to use that white concealer that was really popular in the 70s. I think what I was doing is I was kind of copying off my mom because my mom used to use it back then. She doesn't use it any longer, but um, she used it in the 70s and in the 80s um, and a little bit in the beginning of the 90s and then we finally both realized that it really wasn't complimentary so that's the one thing that um, my brain just went away that's the one um, makeup trend that I would never go back into <laughs> okay number eight what is the number one makeup tip you would give to a mature woman as a general rule to help them look younger? Hmm. This is sort of, it's not really a makeup tip, but it's more of a skincare tip. For me, uh, I think a good moisturizer plumps up your skin and creates a nice canvas for your makeup to go on. And then for as far as makeup, I would say, um, hmm, to try to like get out of your comfort zone. Don't wear your makeup the same as you did when you were 20 years old. I know in the 80s when I was 20, um, or in my 20s, it was really popular to wear just eyeliner on the bottom lash line. Now my last video that I did, uh, I forget what it was. Oh, it was a I got mail video I did do that with some liquid liner and I liked it but it's not something I would do all the time I just was kind of switching up the look and seeing how it would look but I would never do it on a daily basis so yeah just get out of that uh, you know depending on what age you are for me in my uh, early 50s and <laughs> 51 you know, I would get out of what I wore back in the 80s and the 90s. Well, not so much the 90s, but the 80s. Okay, and then I think that just makes you look younger because you're not wearing the same dated style. And YouTube is a great place for that because you can find so many tutorials to change your look up. Um, let's see. 
uh, number one skincare tip to help them look younger take your makeup off at night even if or before you go to sleep even if you keep some of the makeup wipes beside your bed and you just go over and take all your makeup off do that um, you might not get a hundred percent off but you're gonna get most of it off the next day you can go back and you can um, wash it better or use some type of um, exfoliation that's also very good but really before you go to sleep at night take your makeup off and everything eye makeup your base your powder whatever you're wearing your lipstick take it all off because your skin needs to breathe at night uh, and during the day sometimes too um, let's see what celebrity wore your favorite beauty look when you were in your 20s and which celebrity makeup look do you admire now back in my 20s without a doubt it was Pat Benatar I totally wanted to be her when I was in my 20s I listened to her music all the time um, I sort of had my hair cut like hers it was always uh, short and I tried to look like her as much as I could uh, yes if I could have turned into Pat Penatar for a day when I was in my 20s that would have been like dream come true back then now as far as my style today or what style I like um, I like the style of Jennifer Lopez uh, makeup style I like the makeup style of um, Jennifer Lawrence she's a little bit young she's younger than me but still she's always made it really beautiful um, and there's that one that is married to she just had a baby last year oh I can't think of her name <sighs> yeah I can't think of her but um, if I do well put it down here yeah those two or three they seem to always have real beautiful um, makeup looks um, let's see da, da, da. number 10 if you were stranded on Gilligan's Island and could only have three makeup products what would they be and why number one would be sunscreen uh, because I believe and it took me a while to really get on that bandwagon I really believe that sunscreen is an anti-ager it really it helps you to wrinkle less uh, it helps uh, sometimes people get sunspots I get really big spots if I'm in the Sun and don't have some type of sunblock or sunscreen on my face um, that is from my lupus I'm I have photosensitivity so I'm sort of like allergic to the Sun uh, so even now um, I have sunscreen on and a good one that I love is the CeraVe um, I think it's 30 SPF and it does not break me out so for you ladies or gentlemen out there that have a problem finding an SPF because it breaks you out I was there for a long time and I use now the CeraVe it comes in a pump and it's the AM moisturizer and it has SPF and I think it's really great and I notice a difference in my skin when I don't use it okay oh, oh there's two more to think of okay um, a nice lip balm or lip gloss that has a lot of um, emollients in it so you keep your lips nice and and um, plump and, and not dried out and then the third one hmm. lipstick I know that's two lip products but with lipstick you can do so much so many things you know you can use it as your lipstick you can use it as a little bit of a um, I'm thinking rouge because that's what my mom calls it a little bit of uh, blush you can use it as a little bit of eyeshadow so yeah lipstick I was gonna say eyeliner but you can't do as much with eyeliner that you can do with lipstick let me see if there's anything else here no that's the last question for this and this was the mature Ooh, I'm gonna be turning this on I don't want to I'm looking at my phone that's 
This is called the Mature Tag, wait, Makeup Tag for Mature Women. And I think everybody has been tagged on this. Um, ooh, uh, Kelly over 50. I don't know if I've seen you on the list, so I'll tag you. Um, and I'm trying to think, hmm. I'm sure that, uh, Miss Cavalier on one Colleen has been tagged because she she's friends with like everybody in the mature uh, community and other groups so um, I'm sure she has but if she hasn't I tag her too so I hope you enjoyed this tag I'm probably going to look for another one as I'm waiting for my husband he's taking a little nap and then we're going to go out for the evening um, like I said, hope you enjoy this and that you have a great morning, afternoon, day, evening, night, whatever time it is that you're watching this. I send you lots of love. I'm sorry I've been fiddling around with my collar, but this is one of those uh, button-down tops that don't doesn't have a real like collar there, and I don't like it like that. So I'm like keep pushing it down, and putting my necklace over too much to know but it's okay uh take care of yourselves and i send you lots of my love